the civil service mains exam of 2023 has started today with the general essay paper as usual upsc has brought in another interesting eight questions this year so let's go into the questions one by one from section a we are starting with a topic like thinking is like a game it does not begin unless there is an opposite team so that's an interesting statement we have so the question talks about you know whenever there is any stimulation whenever there is any actual situation then only our brain starts working this is the essence of the topic but to attempt to this question one has to you know really think because as the question says the upsc has given you some food for thought and you really have to put your mind to actually write this one so you have to think about like only when we are caught up with uh, some real problem then only we will be actually work so in that premise one has to you know build up and uh, come up with uh, examples and as usual you have to come up with uh, examples from different field to support the statement and of course all the examples has to be put in chronological order but i would generally say that this question is a difficult one let's look into the question number 2 of section a this is visionary decision making happens at the intersection of intuition and logic again i would say this is a bit difficult one because decision making we have to apply intuition and logic that's the question so again this uh, question is something similar to the question number 1 so one has to apply logic and uh, weigh the causes and consequences at the same time one has to use intuition that is the essence of the question number 2 here but again to bring this into a concrete structure one has to think about real situation because many a time in real life situation this happens people use a lot of intuition a lot of uh, you know um decisions based on intuition and of course we will be using a lot of uh, you know cause effect kind of things so real life uh, be it uh, politics or be it uh, other kind of fields one will be using this uh, two methods to arrive at a uh, conclusion to take decisions so from the field of politics i think since the question is about decision making one can come up uh, with examples again whenever you have to you know write answers the best method is you come up with a good examples which uh, talks about this uh, the essence of this uh, particular statement then you have to come up with maximum examples from different field and present them in a chronological order so for this question also you have to follow the same logic Let's move on to question number three here. Not all who wanders are lost. Now that's a very poetic kind of a statement. So this talks about, you know, the importance of traveling, importance of uh, exploring things. So people who wander are not exactly lost. People travel with purpose. people go out and explore things because they really want to know things better know things closer that's the essence of this third question so what we have to do is for this question we have to explore the importance of traveling and exploring so we have to use uh, the examples of great travelers people who moved out and uh, you know people who went out and explored the world and how much that contributed to the world in general be it uh, different fields of knowledge and uh, other kind of things so that question i think if you understood the essence of the question is 
much more easy to write. If, especially if you are interested in traveling in general. Because the statement is quite clear. The thing is, you should be able to bring in maximum examples. Let's move on to the last question of section A. Here it talks about inspiration for creativity springs from the effort to look for the magical in the mundane. So, really a person, if a person is creative, that person should be able to see magic in even the, you know, day-to-day -day boring kind of things. That's the meaning of things. So, for that, again, one can use examples. Like, for an ordinary person, if you look into a thing, you may not find anything special. But for a genius, but for a creative person, the person will be able to see something inspiring in that. So all of a sudden, when I saw this question, I was thinking about Michelangelo, how he used the abandoned piece of marble to create one of his masterpieces. So everybody saw that piece as a you know waste of thing, something which uh, you cannot make any sculptures. But Michelangelo was able to make uh, one of his uh, sculptures called David out of that particular piece. So that's what is, uh, I mean, something which you could use as an example for this one. Again, you have to bring in the examples of geniuses, be it, uh, you know, movies or sculptures or music and bring it in. So if you know what exactly you are supposed to write for this one, if you are generally interested in, you know, people's uh, biographies and other kind of things, you will be able to construct this answer. So, out of the four, I would say the question number three is much more easy to handle because, you know, it's about traveling and most of the people will be able to somehow manage. The other questions, particularly the first two questions, since they're more about thinking and all, it may take a little bit more time. And the last one, since it's about creativity, again, to construct that answer, one may need an extra effort. So my pick for the, out of the four, is the question number three, about that uh, not all wanderers are lost. Now let's uh, move on to the section B of the essay paper. Section B, the first question, is an interesting statement, I would say. Girls are weighed down by restrictions, boys with demands. Two equally harmful disciplines. Now, that's a very interesting statement about patriarchy. Because the girls are not allowed to do a lot of things. At the same time, the boys are forced to do a lot of things. So, in one nutshell, you could say that patriarchy is actually harmful for both genders. So, once you understood the meaning, this is actually easy to write. Like you have uh, your uh, women and women related issues in your GS paper 1 and uh, people with uh, options like sociology would have studied about gender. So all the elements you can put and historically you could uh, write about the history about, of patriarchy, how it has been harmfully affecting both genders. So this one, once you understand the exact Meaning of that statement is actually easy to write. Especially UPSC often asks women related questions. So if you have prepared a little bit on patriarchy and women's issues, this one is easily your pick. Now let's move on to the next question of uh, section B. Mathematics is the music of reason. Now with somebody who is interested in the subject of mathematics, Somebody who know a little bit about the history of science in general. Somebody who's interested in people like Isaac Newton, who contributed a lot to basic mathematics. You could bring all those things together. But of course, a little bit of specific knowledge is needed to do justice to this topic. Since you have to write all about mathematics, so a lot of 
real mathematicians lives and their contributions and how that uh, connection between mathematics and music all those things you have to bring in but a lot of specific knowledge is needed for that so not normally you won't get such topics with uh, too many you know specifications let's move on to question number 3 in section b a society that has more justice is a society that needs less charity this talks about an egalitarian society because if there is equality in the society we don't need to bring too many charity because people will be more or less equal so again all of a sudden i thought of a story here because this was the incident in uh, our uh, from indian mythology when mahabali meets yudhishthira so yudhishthira was saying that every day i give uh, arms to this many people this many people i feed then mahabali was furious then mahabali was asking yudhishthira that uh, in my kingdom when i offer free food for poor people there was not a single person to come and take that food because the society was egalitarian so that story actually captures the essence of this so this is i mean you could bring in all your uh, elements of economics and public administration and governance into this a society where we need to do a lot of uh, charity and welfare that means there is a lot of inequality so a society with uh, lesser kind of uh, this kind of problem we don't need to do so many into that so this question is again worth trying because you could bring all your gs elements into this particular one make sure that you use uh, indian and western examples and bring in as many dimensions as possible to this one now the last question again after a gap we got a question on education here education is what remains after one has uh, forgotten what one has uh, learned in school so this again is a quite a popular kind of a quote talking about the you know essence of education so you will be doing all these studies in your school but what remains in your head after that that remains as the real education so this talks about the importance of learning importance of understanding things you know rather than just uh, mugging up facts so people who have natural comfort in this particular area and people who have decently prepared for your gs can try this topic as well because the real essence of education so you have to write about the real meaning of education different types of education systems and uh, world over different models and how real education helps you in life all these elements you will be able to bring in so section b i would say except for that mathematics question all other three questions are attemptable depending on your level of preparation so another interesting year another interesting eight questions i hope people who brought mains this time have picked up the right one suitable for them and would have done a good job so from pathways academy this is the essay paper for you for the year 2023 thank you for watching